Hey guys, Dale here, back with some more RimWorld. Uh, we're paused right now because we have a raid coming in. It's going to be eight Galactic Order folks. So I assume it's going to be mostly Stormtroopers, but I did want to um, talk about yesterday's episode because as soon as I finished recording, I realized that Ven and, not Ven, Rad and Asha, and, and Ven, yeah, got back and we didn't have as much intel as we should have. Um, and that's when I like opened up the map and I was like, oh no, we, I totally forgot to, um, kill the last droner. I got really obsessed with like pulling into a lot of things and like shooting stuff. Uh, but we didn't actually finish the objectives of the quest. Um, so we got little Harlock Jr. here. Um, I noticed that it was still on the map. Um, so I just like pulled a mulligan and sent them back out to finish off the quest before the site expired um so yeah it was uh very annoying and we did get our quest reward so let's take a look and see what is coming towards us we are probably going to be fighting around these corners and stuff because they're spawning so close to where we normally like ch uh hang out yeah so we got we got stormtroopers here eight of them all stormtroopers looks like looks like you have a couple flamethrowers someone has a rocket launcher so three flamethrowers one rocket launcher larry has the rocket launcher um and just some other guns so maybe we have rad try and take larry out get in here Okay, Rad has Power Leap, but we also have our Force Ability, Force Rage. What is the... Oh, I have to click it. Okay. Um, okay, where are... Where are you? You are there. Let's Power Leap here. Cool. Force Rage on Larry. Just get that rocket out of our way, and then let's move you guys in while they are distracted. Asha, maybe you jetpack me. Don't know what the screen did there. Uh, Flamethrower there. And then let's go ahead and head back. Okay, Red, uh, let's get up here and you can tank some. You have a shield, you also have deflect. Okay, and I don't want all these weapons to burn up. It looks like there's medicine and stuff too, so we are going to uh, zone this as just home for a moment. Unforbid the things. Release you guys. Asha, let's have you strip this gear. Um, anything that we aren't planning on wearing, um, we can smelt down and get like some Durasteel and stuff out of it. So free resources. What we really need is we need steel. Okay. So quest wise, we don't really have much going on. We have this toxic dump, which could get us a bomb pack. Um, we have a structure quest, which gets us goodwill with the empire that we're sabotaging. Um, so not gonna do that. Not set up to take in 191 toxic waste packs. So um, we're just gonna continue doing the things, uh, which is building our base, mining it out, and waiting for the deserter network to get in contact with us. Actually, we have 20 intel. I'll have Armella take a look at what we might purchase um, and what quests might be available. Okay, Armella had a little tantrum on her way to the comms console, but she is, she's just chilling with little baby Harlock right now. Uh, if you guys have any ideas for, for names for Harlock Jr., uh, leave them in the comments. I'll probably just like continue asking the next few days and we'll see kind of what we get. Contact the deserters. Okay, so 
what was it? It was deserter gear that we're looking at. We got a bomb pack, Invis invisibility engulfer. Maybe we'll take a look at tech prints 20. So skin hardening healing factors would be great. Like, well, Charge Thumper, Fletcher. Okay, can't really buy that stuff. We can take a look at available quests. So there's a control station raid. What is our visibility? Okay. Yeah, so it like fades a little bit each day. 18 intel. Okay. What about critical quests? We have one critical quest. Thanks to the intel we obtained, we know the location of an aerodrome station belonging... Okay, we just did one of those yesterday. Incinerator trooper, two stormtroopers. Okay, visibility, but... Oh, this just gets us visibility decrease. It doesn't get us critical intel. Um, oh, and the quest costs that? Oh, okay, so these quests also cost intel. Um, well, I guess we'll just let those quests, like, naturally show up. Oh, we can buy bionics. So, that's nice. We haven't really been bleeding. Like, a lot of these weapons give us, like, burn damage. Healing enhancer. Speed up wound healing. This implant only helps with physical wounds and does nothing to combat disease. Hmm. Tough skins would be great, too. Let's make, let's make our Wookiee a little overpowered. Let's give him a healing enhancer and a tough skin. Okay, purchase those. And then at some point, we're going to have to like, we'll get the quest, we'll get the notification, we'll have to go pick those up. Okay, we just got our deserter dead drop. Let's take a look at it. Oh, this is, this is way out there. It's through the mountains. This is going to be days two days so round trip that that ends up being five days oh my gosh we do we have packaged survival meals no not really we have three of them we don't have set folks set to eating them no we don't okay well it's gonna be there for a little while what we could do is we could wait until we get enough intel to do a drop ship. That way it's just like one. I don't know if it'll bring us back, but at least we'll only have to like travel one way, if at all. Yeah, I like that idea. Okay, it looks like we have our next mission. So, const Control Station Raid. The informant network has relayed us information of a control station belonging to the Galactic Order. These forward-placed outposts survey the area around Imperial points of interest and alert them of any imminent threats. Uh, we might find some useful supplies. One artillery trooper, so I managed someone with a rocket launcher and three stormtroopers. We also have been informed that the location is protected by a number of ground mounted strikers control station surveillance pillars okay and we need to destroy the surveillance station terminal we're gonna accept this for the intel like we don't really care about the um gear here so we'll accept that and let's take a look to see where this is this is like we don't have a good cook do we we don't, so we can't make packaged survival meals. Um, if we extract five meals, how long do these last? 18 hours. Okay. Well, we'll bring a couple of those. Hey, will you prioritize just like pick up all the nutrient paste meals okay and then we'll drop like 20 of them okay cool and then gear we'll drop these nutrient paste meals um okay so i think we're sending rad let's take a look at his needs his force pool is fine 
Sunrad and Asha, they were a really good duo. We'll have Ven as like backup medic. And we're gonna put Ven in some armor. So let's go ahead and Ven, you are gonna role play as a stormtrooper. And once they're all set, we'll send them out. We'll send them with some extra food because we might as well, like, if we're going to be all the way down here, we might as well make the trip to the dead drop. I think we'll go to the dead drop first and then we will head to this installation. So we'll come back when we're on our way. Okay, they're on their way. It's going to be two and a half days for them to get there. Um, once they're there, it's going to be another day and a quarter to get to this station. And then to get back home, it is just another, a little over a day. Um, something with 400 rice, those nutrient paste meals are probably expired already. They're like about to go. Um, so they'll eat raw food. We might end up with food poisoning. I think we need to build our freezer and proper kitchen very, very soon. It's been a year in game and we have not had a kitchen. Um, we've just been eating nutrient paste, but with all this caravanning, we we need to get something figured out. Okay, we've arrived at the item stash, so we're going to have Rad move in, and we will have uh, Ven and Asha just kind of like covering for him. Okay, again, no, uh, no hostels, so that's pretty nice. Uh... Okay, 1.3 days. Items, let's grab what we came for. Ooh, just a random dead body on the map? Okay. Travel supplies, we have packaged survival meals, we have rice. Let's go ahead and send them. Okay, we've had a defoliator ship land on the map, and you can see our mechs have been reskinned. So we have how many scythers? Just one scyther uh, and two. A pikeman? Two pikemen. But there's also a lancer under this pikeman. Okay, let's go ahead and we will just like schedule. Let's restrict everyone to area one for now. And we'll leave that be. Like, we should be fine. Um, this is gonna slowly extend. Uh, but I think we have time for them to get back from their mission so that we're. We're fully armed before we take the, these guys down. Actually, like, I think we're fine. You just have fibrous... Yeah, you have muscle parasites. Um, it is 6 a.m. We'll wait for them all to wake up, and then we will we'll go take them. Okay, I was going to go take out those mechanoids, but then we arrived. So let's deal with one thing at a time. So we need to get whatever is in here. Supply crates. Ooh, multiple supply crates. Cool. Um, let's see. Okay, so that is the surveillance pillar. I'm not. I'm kind of curious to find out, like, what it does, but also I'm not super curious. Turrets. There are one, two, three, four. I'm wondering if we can take these turrets. So I think what we're going to do is we will take out the batteries. We will probably have to take out these front two turrets, but that's fine. So then let's have you, let's have you here. Let's have you guys get up close. Okay, Rad. We'll have you up front because potentially Rad can deflect some shots. And he does have the shield belt. Okay. Got their attention. Why don't we go ahead and force rage you? Cool. You'll distract folks. Power leap. Go ahead and take this guy out. Will you focus on the turrets, actually? Okay, and then let's have you... Oh, you can power leap again. Oh, you can, but you're like basically out of sight focus. We need to up your meditation game. Let's have you jump into cover here. There's that turret there. So I think 
what we do is we pop up here and melee attack the engineer with the rocket launcher. Okay, melee attack him. Perfect. Melee attack oh. him. Okay, just go ahead and take the batteries out. Asha, fire on whoever you can fire on. Then down for your support. Cool. Um, okay. Actually, we can like claim these batteries and uninstall them. Let's see if that takes the turrets out. Why don't you get back into cover? Why don't you join him? I don't think we can claim these turrets. But we can at least disarm them, because we still had quite a ways to go. Okay. Right, why don't you have a look? Oh, actually, can you... Do we not just, like, claim the doors? No, we can't claim the doors, probably because the turrets are still active. Hmm. Hmm. What would be giving them power? I guess power doesn't matter. Okay. Asha, you just like get in there, start shooting the turret. Then let's go around the wall. Ooh, not. Okay, why don't you go ahead and break a door down? Oh, okay, you can walk through the door now. Okay, what if we claim it, extract intel from it? Asha hasn't taken any hits. Ven has taken a hit. Just some bruises. Okay, cool. Um, let's go ahead and let's move in. No, don't attack. I want you to go there. Okay, then you get in here. Asha, take that out so you can see. Uh, then actually open these supply crates. And then will you shoot this turret? Okay. A helm. Ooh, tech print jump packs. Go here. And can you reach? You can. So we want oh let's extract intel from all of those i am very curious about what's in this building and i think we have to deal with this so last turret yeah i guess head up this way oh nope there is another turret go ahead and take cover um that's annoying uh maybe take cover over here and let's take this guy out are there any more just those two okay then why don't you okay eating and extract intel Like, what is he doing? He's just standing in the doorway. He's slowly extracting intel. I'm 
actually, why don't you tend yourself? Okay, you move in this way. Take out the next turret. And another helm up here. So basically just plastic and melt it down. Okay, let's get up here. We'll take out this pylon. Oh, can we claim it? Okay, I think we're about to find out what happens if we wander in. Like, I don't trust claiming it. Okay, maybe claiming it did work. You have activated visibility or infection has increased by 10. Okay, that's what that does. We can extract intel from it. Okay, I'm gonna speed through some of this intel extraction because it's boring. Um, actually, let's do this. Let's let's look in this room and then we'll extract intel. Just batteries, just batteries, all that for batteries. Okay, we'll be back when we're done. Okay, I'm afraid of mental breaks if they continue extracting intel. So we're just gonna go ahead and take this guy out. Mission complete. That's what we need. We're going to go ahead and pack up and bring everything with us. So, world. Reform caravan. Accept. Leave them. We'll take components, tech print, all the intel. Batteries. Free batteries. Um, let's see. Is there anything else we want? Let's take a look at food. Yeah, let's pick up a battery. Be home in like a day and a half. Nice. Okay, one more down. Um, let's have Armella take a look at our deserter stuff. Pods arrived, jump to location. 19 intel, 20 intel. And then you guys are carrying how much intel? 30. Oh, okay. We might be able to like buy cataphract armor tech prints now. Okay, so if we look at our visibility, we're at 16 because of the mission and then because we triggered that surveillance thing for no reason. Um, lots. What is this? Operation Tactful Eggplant. Target Kindless Knight. I don't know what this means. Uh, maybe that is kind of what we're working towards? I don't know. I'll read the mod page. We'll figure it out as we play or or whatever. But anyhow, thanks for hanging out, you guys. Until next time, have a good one. Bye.